In the last two or three years, special effects in the movies have taken a quantum leap forward. Computer graphics are now being used to create some mind-boggling imagery. Well, there's all sorts of things you can do now that you haven't been able to do before in the way of creating characters that uh, just couldn't exist and in manipulating images. For quite some time, it's been possible to process video images through a computer to obtain special effects, often with impressive results. But only recently have computers been able to manipulate celluloid images to create film special effects of adequate quality. Now we have the technology to take the film and scan it into the computer at a high resolution. And once it's in there, we have all the tools that we've always used for video or commercials and all that, that now we can apply to high-resolution film. Special effects houses commonly use this technology to create disturbing images for horror films. The dazzling, pioneering work of creating computer-generated imagery is not taking place, as you might imagine, at some fantasy-filled, massive Hollywood factory. But here, inside these rather drab-looking buildings, some 400 miles north of Los Angeles. Behind this humdrum exterior lies George Lucas's world-famous industrial light and magic, which has led the way in movie special effects for the last 15 years. In 1988, in the film Willow, ILM broke new ground when it introduced, for the first time in a commercial feature, a computerized transformation technique called morphing. Morphing is short for metamorphosis. Um, it's a transformation technique done entirely digitally inside a computer to transform the image of one person or animal or puppet into another. ILM also used morphing to create the facial transformations in a computer-generated creature called the pseudopod in the film The Abyss. Essentially, morphing uses a computer to meld several different shots into one final image. In Terminator 2, separate film sequences that included fire, the actor Robert Patrick, and other elements were all combined by computer to create the morph transformation. With morphing, you can show the entire transformation happening full frame. You don't have to cut away. You don't have to use any special tricks or try to hide rigging or puppeteers behind anything. You can just shoot your camera right at what's happening. Computer graphics are also being used to bring about a whole range of invisible special effects. In Terminator 2, a computer was used to remove the safety cable supporting a stuntman riding on a motorbike as he took a spectacular leap. The net result of what you'll get out of it is much more dramatic stunts, you know, things that people could not survive doing, but you'll be fooled into thinking that someone did. In The Babe, a new picture about baseball legend Babe Ruth, computers helped save money. Instead of having to hire several thousand extras to pack a stadium, computer graphics were used to combine shots of just a few hundred extras sitting in different locations. The final image created the illusion of a huge crowd. The way that you would do that traditionally is that you'd typically just have little dots with a screen moving in front of them to make kind of a moiré pattern. So it looks like there's a little motion in the audience. We, though, we used pictures of real people standing up and waving handkerchiefs and, you know, booing or whatever they were doing. That's one of the advantages to using digital techniques is it's easy to do that, kind of duplicating over and over again. In one of its more controversial applications, computer graphics may also be used to try to bring images of old stars back to life, to get them to appear in contemporary films with living actors. It's certainly going to be possible to do that within a few years. I know some researchers are working on exactly that very problem of trying to create um, synthetic actors resembling um, old actors that have passed away. I don't see the, the need to do it. Where I think computers will excel is in bringing us new characters and fantastic characters that you can't do with a person. Computer-generated short films have already been made. A full-length feature is in the pipeline. Stuntmen, scenery, even actors could one day become redundant if entire films can be created by computer. Already, computers are helping actors to make all kinds of body movements and strike poses that would make even the most accomplished contortionist proud. I just have to make a telephone call. 